everybody welcome to my channel my name is Kaya today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about my favorite foundations a little mix of drugstore some high-end so gives you a good variety of things to choose from so I'm gonna go ahead and get started okay uh, also thank you again so much for coming to my channel this is actually my first YouTube video so please let me know what you think about it I'm totally interested in your feedback and you know would love some ideas and suggestions on how I can be better and what you've enjoyed okay let's get started so first, I'm going to talk about my ultimate favorite. This is the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. This foundation is kind of pricey. It's $43, but I love it so much. Um, definitely one of my favorite high-end foundations. And I think out of the bunch I'm looking at, this might be the first or second one that I purchased. But this foundation is really good um, if you like sheer coverage, if you enjoy um, a your skin but better feel, this is wonderful for that. So it's really liquidy. It's called Water Blend for a reason. It is 90% water. So if you are not into, you know, watery consistency or really light sheer coverage, if you are for the full beat, this isn't going to work for you. But I really like it. It's the foundation I have on today. I think it's so beautiful and it gives you such a nice healthy glow. So let me show you guys a little. So literally it's already starting to drip, but it's like watery. <laughs> Every time I do this, I laugh because it's so funny how like watery this is. It's literal water. But I love it. Um, once I blend it out on my hand, it's so beautiful. See the finish is beautiful, and that was just a pump. But this foundation is great, um, but not really for you if you want the full beat. But I do have some stuff in here that could work for that, okay? Um, this actually is my next foundation. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I love this foundation. This is a Nick like neck and neck tie between these two. This foundation though is only, I believe $24. This could be, sorry, a concealer or a foundation, which is why I love it so much. It has huge doe foot applicator, amazing. So, so amazing. Um, and then like a pretty big, uh, this sounds dumb, but this has a really big hole in this. Um, and that sounds kind of crazy, but you guys ever used something and it's hard to get everything in? This is so nice, and I'm going to swatch it just a little for you guys. It's in the color 24 Golden, so I'm going to pull on. It's so full coverage and nice. If you want full beat, this is for you. You see how thick and creamy? Oh, it's so beautiful on, too. Like, to conceal, it looks beautiful. Sometimes I just use this under my eye. Um, and sometimes I go all over the face with it, but you can't go wrong with this and this is a great item to bring if you're not doing a lot of under eye brightening. This is a great item to bring for traveling because it's, you know, two in one. You can bring this and conceal and do your normal foundation routine, which is why I really love this foundation. I've worn it on several occasions and I think it's beautiful. My next one is a drugstore one, and it is almost empty. This is the L'Oreal Pro Matte. This foundation is so nice and full coverage, and you guessed it, it's like 10 bucks. You can't really go wrong with this. Now, I'm an oily skin type, and so oils, and it, it, it just pours out of my poor little skin in the summer in this horrible California heat, 111 degrees. This foundation is one of the ones that I have worn to work. This is a mattifying foundation. Let me add more than that. That's ridiculous. Sorry. So there's this. It's so nice and creamy. Look at the coverage. Oh my goodness. It's so gorgeous. I love this foundation a ton. I think it is beautiful coverage. I'm in the shade Soft Sable. The only real issue with this is that they don't have any selections. and I'm the second to darkest color. So I'm Soft Sable and then they have Cocoa. And Cocoa is a little like deep and red on me. But that's pathetic. I mean, we need more shades. Women of color, we need more shades. Those, this is a amazing foundation, but it's not going to help, you know, the, the women of color in the beauty community who can't use it because they're deeper than me or the undertone's not right. I do recommend this if you are looking for a mattifying foundation at the drugstore. I just wish they had more shades. So if you are darker than me, um, like a shade or two darker, the uh, deeper shade will work for you. But if you're even darker than that, then unfortunately this could never work. So do love it, but I wish they had more shades. 
sorry, I'm gonna wiping this off my heart. The next one I have here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now this is such a good foundation. I was so surprised when I, you know, picked this up at the store. I thought, oh, this will be okay. But this is $4.99. $4.99. $43.499. Like amazing. $24, $4.99. Great. Take a little of this. It has a little paddle, which I like. I like anything with a squeezy tube or a pump or a paddle because I can just do this. It makes it easier. But I'm going to take a little of this on my arm here. And I'm just going to kind of push this on. Now, this looks like it's too light for me, but I promise it blends out real good. Beautiful, beautiful consistency and coverage. When it blends out on my arm, it looks so so beautiful so gorgeous on the face I love the finish of it and it truly is flawless like the um, claims that this has is you know what is this tested under seven lights and it's you know this foundation that's gonna be perfect for your Instagram photo shoot that you have at home in your bedroom like I do and the you know when you're going outside or you're going to meet your parents boyfriends or even going to work this is a great foundation because it's so inexpensive the finish is not super matte but the finish is also not really a dewy one at all it's like a satin finish it looks healthy and it's five dollars five dollars so cheap so inexpensive and really just you know excites me to find recommendations of things that are inexpensive like this in comparison to something like this I mean this is my favorite but this is also 43 bucks sometimes you don't have 43 dollars sometimes I don't have 43 dollars so 4.99 is always a good steal my next one <sighs> embarrassed didn't talk about it this is the hourglass vanish stick foundation that is 46 bucks but $46 well spent this poor poor thing I'm gonna show you guys how much I have left that's it this is all I have I love this stick foundation it is so creamy oh so creamy this is a beautiful stick foundation um, it's $46 it is pricey but it's really nice if you're looking to splurge you know on something a little more expensive something that you like this is great this is so travel friendly like look how tiny this compact is I mean I can like grip this in my hand almost it's like boop. 46 bucks great product actually worth the price um, and I have no complaints about it it does blend out better with a brush I always recommend that you use a brush like a um, Y6 from Morphe any type of flat top kabuki brush this is gonna look beautiful on your skin and the shade range oh forget it you're finding your shade you're likely finding your shade with this they have something for the fairest of fair and the lightest of light the shade range is phenomenal like I have a contour color in this plus a face color and I think even deeper skin tones than me had a contour color for this so this is very impressive and very beautiful and I'm so honored and happy that Hourglass finally you know they, they come through and they have these great products and I love and I'm honored as a black woman that they take us into account I love that and I appreciate that because not enough people do this but this is a great one if you're looking for one next is my Milani conceal and perfect this actually reminds me a lot of this and I don't see people ever dupe them but I, they kind of remind me of each other a little bit. The only gripe I have with this, I wish it was a doe foot, but it's a pump so I can deal with it. But I'm not crazy about the undertone of this foundation. That's my only kind of eh. Um, I'm going to pump a little for you guys so you can see it on my hand. So super, super, super pretty foundation. Super thick, just like the um, Milani, I'm sorry, the Clinique one. So they could be dupes for each other. I've never used it, but this is really green and olive undertoned, but it is a great foundation. I do just have to kind of bronze a little bit to make my color fit perfectly, but they have a decent amount of shades. Drugstore foundations, I have to catch up to getting the, the maximum on their shades. They really do. They haven't caught up there yet, but the claims for this one are medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water restraint, 
and um, sweat proof so I do agree with all these claims if you can find your shade this is amazing I really I'm so sorry it's dirty but I really really love this I think this is a great product and I think that if you get your shade or you find something that you really enjoy about it that you will love this and the foam I would say the coverage is medium to full for sure but I would say that the finish is kind of satin satin to dewy you're definitely going to need to powder if you have oily skin like me. We're down to our final three. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about these. So this one is my tried and true. This is the very first foundation I ever bought myself, I ever matched myself with or found. This is the L'Oreal True Match in the color Soft Sable C6 beautiful foundation I have been neglecting this though I haven't worn it hardly at all since I've got some of my other stuff but let me see if I can find a place this right here is such a good matching foundation I feel like they have so many shade ranges this is a pretty decent one I know all the shades are not at their at like a drugstore because there's different demographics and so on but this one you can go to L'Oreal.com and I think they go as deep as C10, which is pretty deep dark. I've seen um, a lot of people much tones and tones deeper than me find a shade that works for them in this uh, foundation. And I truly love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's such a good option. It is about $10.50 in price, but it's so worth it. And the only other gripe I have is there's no pump. I have to like pour it, which is probably why I've gone with some of these other ones. But this is a great foundation. Um, I think a lot of the times this and the Maybelline Fit Me um, are kind of like the two that were there. And I always found my shade better in this than the Maybelline Fit Me. But this is a great one. They have warm, neutral, and cool tones, um, which I really, really appreciate. <laughs> Sorry guys. Warm, neutral, and cool undertones that I appreciate. It gives people just a better variety of skin tones and undertones for people to find something that truly matches them. And it kind of like war warms to your skin. So if you're finding something about this that's a little too, you know, you swatch and you're like, eh, it's not going to work. Put it on your face. Most stores have a great return policy. You can always return the product if you don't like it. Um, but definitely give this a try if you're just new and kind of looking for something that's easy to work with. The consistency is a little watery, or I don't want to say watery, but liquidy, and, but it's wonderful. Great foundation. Highly recommend it. Next foundation I have is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Complexion Perfection. <sighs> this foundation is interesting. It is a little watery, kind of the similar consistency as the Makeup Forever one, but it's a little bit thicker. This foundation is, um, it claims, it says it is a skin clearing complexion perfecter, sorry, and it has salicylic acid in it, that is to treat acne. I think that's really cool, they do have a little peel back right here so I guess they could tell you more about the foundation but I really enjoy this one I think this is nice I think this is great for going into the Sun if you're looking for something similar to the makeup forever one I talked about that's lightweight but you want um, cheaper pricing this is great this is not that expensive I'm pretty sure it's between 10 and 10 and 11 dollars it is Neutrogena they're a little more expensive but I really enjoyed this I thought it was great um, it says provide sheer coverage while clearing breakouts. So if you guys ever had breakouts, you don't want to pile on a bunch of makeup and then not clean your face properly. This is going to be great because it's letting your skin breathe all while correcting any problems on your face. So if you need something similar to this, I think this is a great foundation. Um, it's more like a BB cream. I'll honestly say that. It's more like a BB cream. So if you like this, this is what it looks like. Super cheap, inexpensive go grab some of this it's in a little squeezy tube so it's real easy to boop 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 right on your face last foundation is this one this is the Tarte um, double duty beauty um, foundation it's a hybrid gel foundation and I have the color deep sand now their shade range is pretty good too with this one um, 
they probably could add more shades but it's an okay shade range this only thing is it's in like a pot and it's messy so I'm not gonna lie to you guys it's very messy this is the consistency so I it's real moussey it's a hybrid gel so it's gonna be moussey but this is the foundation I put way too much on my hand but I think it's so beautiful on the skin but it's real dewy it's not satiny it's dewy let me show you guys very dewy very pretty but very dewy um, this foundation is going to be great for for me if I have oily skin this is great for winter time I don't mind wearing dewy foundations in the winter because I feel like it gives me a nice sheen when my skin can actually handle having that sheen um, but if you are an oily person in the summer don't go anywhere near this you will be a grease ball I wore this one day to work and I was glistening at the end of my eight hours totally glistening it was terrible but this is a great foundation if you have dry skin I'm certain you would love something like this it's nice and dewy it's nice and pretty and glowy and just makes you look mm, beautiful healthy I have to do a video or put a picture up or something with this on it is beautiful thankfully my co-worker actually gave this to me so sweet and so kind she actually gave it to me um they had a sale and she knew she wouldn't want this but she got it for free somehow and it ended up being perfect for me and i love it so much it's one of my favorites um so that's the last one so i'm gonna put all the products up what i will do is leave in the description box all the products that I talked about today, I'll leave how much they cost, where you can find them at. Um, most all of these, all the high-end things I found at Sephora um, or Ulta and everything that is lower end, I found at my local drugstore that I actually work at, Walgreens. So all of these four are ones, I'm sorry, these five are ones that I worked at, I found at my job. And then these four here are ones that I have found um, at Sephora or Ulta. So please go get your hands on some of these. They're great foundations. They're going to be great for you guys. If you have dry skin, oily skin, I feel like I have a good mix for all of you. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Again, this is my first video. Leave me feedback, comments. I'm totally down to hear what you guys think of this video and um, some ideas for future videos. So thanks so much, guys for watching. Have a wonderful uh, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, thanks. Bye.